What's up, YouTube? How you doing? This is your guy, Jay Delivery. I'm coming at you from my garage or my man cave or whatever you want to call it. So I was thumbing through some delivery video clips that I had. And uh, this one in particular was uh, for Lorenz Appliance. This happened to be a townhome on South Michigan Avenue. Uh, Lorenz Appliance. If we tell them we need a crane, they they get it for us. And I really appreciate that. So thank you, Lorenz Appliances. Check them out on the web. They have a location in Homewood, Illinois and Mokina, Illinois. A uh, great group of guys to work with that uh, Don and Brett. Uh, thank you guys for being so understanding. Um, the other thing that uh, you need in order to make a successful crane delivery is the crane operator of course so we got png helping us out on uh, this certain delivery they've helped us out on many others we really appreciate png thank you guys so much for being there and making us number one with bosch uh, and sub-zero wolf when it comes to those crane deliveries uh, we have ha have not had any incidents yet and all the deliveries go nice and smooth so thank you png third I'd like to thank all you helpers out there, everybody who has worked with me, my dad Dino, uh, my brother Noah, uh, you're, you're a bunch of hardworking guys and, and I really appreciate it. Um, I know some of you guys sometimes are like, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, but when you see me do it, you know that I got your back and I'm not sending you off and I'm not here to hurt you or anything like that. So. Thank you so much for all you guys uh, that have worked with me. And uh, we've been on some crazy deliveries. It's been fun. And uh, thank you so very much. In this particular video, it's a buddy of mine who I've known for many years. Uh, I'm just going to call him Lili. Uh, he uh, loves the Hawaiian lifestyle. And uh, he's lived out there and he's looking to retire out there. I hope his dreams come true. Uh, Lee Lee, thank you so much for sticking by my side. I really appreciate all your hard work, bro. And uh, so that being said and done, um, we're taking a 48 inch Thermidor range uh, up to the second floor balcony. Now there's some things that you're not gonna see uh, in the video because it's just one angle. This is an older video, like I said. So uh, I'll kind of walk you guys through it. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, be prepared for those home deliveries, guys. Be prepared. You know, just because it fits in the kitchen doesn't mean it's going to fit through your door or going to fit through your hallway. So don't just measure your kitchen. Measure the entrance going to the kitchen. Please, please, please do us delivery, guys, that solid before you purchase your ginormous refrigerator or range. All right. Now... Let's get to that video. So one of the very first things you wanna notice is the position of the straps. If you notice they're behind the handle or between the handle and the door, if you were to put those straps on the outside or on the handle, you'd probably bend them. The other thing I want you to notice is my hand gestures. I'm in a blue shirt. That's Jay delivering a blue shirt. Um, you have to make sure there's only one guy giving the crane operator directions on uh, how to lift, uh, when to lower, left or right. This is a 48 inch Thermidor range. It has a solid bottom and this is one of the reasons why we're not lifting it up in the crate. Had this been a uh, wolf range, uh, it would be going up with the pallet because a bottom is not as solid as a Thermidor. Um, as it's getting close to the uh, balcony, you see Lili there. He's putting a four-wheeler in position, getting it ready because we're going to set this on a four-wheeler and roll it right into the townhome. Also, there's a pallet. So I got a pallet on the concrete, a piece of plywood that extends into the house, and then the four-wheeler. So you got to set up and think ahead. You just can't jump into it and decide that you're going to do something with a crane and not be prepared. So. Uh, always be prepared and uh, here you go it's a real tight fit I think we had about an inch 
between the door and the concrete, but we got it in. Uh, once it's down, we'll roll it in. So uh, there you see me doing hand signs again to the crane operator. All right, so this is another uh, great delivery that we made. I think there was like five more pieces, but we just videotaped the range. Hope you enjoyed. Send me a like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit me up, people. Let me know what you think.